Ang kwetsyo. President, please be seated. Ang tunay niyo bayan pagka to ka jamna ka ni ti samna ka. Please be back in session and the floor is given to the legal lawyer for civil parties to resume a line of questioning. Pour reprendre leur interrogatoire. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Encore une, une quinzaine de, de minutes de questions à poser à Madame la partie civile. Madame Singh Sobida, nous nous sommes quittés sur Sobida, votre description des, des réunions meetings, et vous expliquez qu'il y avait des réunions that, uh, au sein de votre groupe et de l'unité et puis ce que vous unit, avez décrit comme des réunions plus importantes qui étaient plus exceptionnelles. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire un peu plus so sur ce second type de réunions about uh, these different kinds of meetings, about these, in particular, these meetings that were less supérieur. frequent, but that happened apparently uh, at a higher level. Answer. The, the big meeting discussed about the harvest and work assignment as in the normal meeting and uh, we were encouraged to work hard to meet us nous à à the dur. plant of Anka so that uh, we could be uh, prosperous in the following years. So the meetings uh, were discussing about work assignment. Nothing else was discussed uh, in those meetings. And uh, it was said that uh, the country had already been uh, liberated, so we had to work hard for ourselves. And from uh, that time onwards, uh, no one would uh, run to any other places. And there was uh, shouting, uh, bravo, bravo. Uh, and uh, long live the revolution. I was there listening to the discussion and also to those kind of shoutings. Je vous remercie. Vous Thank dites you. que personne ne pouvait s'enfuir. Étiez-vous surveillé sur le chantier? So we, there were groups and uh, subgroups in our unit, and uh, chiefs of the subgroups and groups uh, would watch over the workers. And uh, once in a while, I saw militia men or soldier walking past the dam sites. Déambulait sur le chantier du barrage. And militia men and soldiers were watching over Ces us as well. And nous in villages, there would be et militia men uh, watching uh, over the 17 April people. Ils surveillaient le peuple du 17 avril. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Aviez-vous constaté à l'époque si know, ces miliciens ou ces soldats dont vous parlez étaient armés Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous vous souvenez aujourd'hui Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous vous souvenez I recall that they were armed with a rifle, not a pistol. Pas de pistolet. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Y avait-il un, un haut-parleur sur le chantier qui émettait des, des annonces ou des chansons or, or Oui, il y avait 
and the songs will be played over the loudspeakers. Let me tell the truth. The songs were mostly the revolutionary songs about the leaping forward movement and about the liberation, so on and so forth. There were songs playing for workers, but no romantic songs are played over loudspeakers. As I said, Songs uh, were about the uh, dit, revolution, liberation, des and about comrades, so on and so forth. Des qui les camarades, etc. À quelle fréquence étaient uh, diffusés ces chants révolutionnaires? Est-ce que c'était fréquent? Est-ce que c'était tous les jours? Was it every day? Was it often? Answer so. on daily basis. They were played on Tous a daily jours. basis. Always. C'était toujours le cas. Y avait-il d'autres types de messages qui étaient diffusés par les haut-parleurs? loudspeakers. Answer. No, no other messages on the loudspeaker. I have never heard any radio broadcasting either. And when there was a meeting, the announcement would be made over the loudspeaker. I mean, when there was a big meeting. And when there was any particular concern or matter, there would be also a broadcast over the loudspeaker. But from my uh, recollection, I heard most of the time revolutionary songs. La plupart du temps, c'était des chants révolutionnaires qui étaient diffusés par ces haut-parleurs. Avez-vous le souvenir d'avoir entendu des, des consignes de sécurité pour que les travailleurs fassent attention sur le chantier Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous, vous avez le souvenir ou non Est-ce que vous avez entendu ça sur les loudspeakers ou non Il n'y avait pas we ce genre were de message. told how to carry us and how to work properly. Some people would sleep while they were carrying or working, so we were warned and alerted while working. There was nothing but working at that time. And I have never encountered accidental uh, injury of a workers at that site. Des ouvriers ont été blessés sur ce chantier. Quand vous dites que les gens when dormaient debout, y a-t-il eu des, des accidents dont up, vous avez été témoin Did you witness any accidents Yeah. Sometimes uh, oui. people got sprained ankles, Parfois, les gens and se uh, sometimes they uh, would sleep uh, while uh, working because uh, the soil uh, would be wet after it was dark. So some people had uh, minor minor accident, but no that injury at the 1st January worksite, the place where I work. I do not know about accidents in other places. Je vous remercie. Avez-vous le souvenir d'avoir vu un personnage ou des personnages un petit peu particuliers lors de votre séjour de trois mois sur le barrage du 1er janvier I saw an incident while I was uh, carrying Earth. Uh, we were asked to be harder in our work. 
And uh, we were told in advance, we were told by our unit chiefs and uh, group chief, and we were told that uh, the senior cadres would come to visit the world side. There were about uh, 10 cadres. Photo was shot at that time, and those people had their scarf around their necks, and uh, they had a white, fair complexion, and I do not know whether one person among those people was a uh, Pol Pot. Every day we would uh, work in our normal pace, but on that day we had been told in advance that we had to be uh, quicker in our work. I saw those people on one occasion. I uh, wondered at that time for who they were, and uh, I was told that uh, those people were senior delegates, but uh, they were not uh, specifically identified by my colleagues. Mes collègues n'ont pas pu me dire précisément de qui il s'agissait. Avez-vous vu à un moment sur le, le barrage, sur le chantier, une équipe de tournage qui tournait un film? Est-ce que film vous en avez le souvenir? Do you remember that? Answer, no, I have never seen any film crews there But I watched TV on the, the previous occasion and I could see uh, that uh, there was a film projecting about the Khmer Rouge period. I do not know whether there was a film shot during that Regime, and I could see from that film that uh, the activities were Dans of similar situation vu, while I was working at the first January dam sites. Uh, au village, which meant that you had to go to the village to find water and get washed. So can you describe a little bit more in detail the hygiene conditions uh, on the work site uh, and in your sleeping quarters? Answer. The water condition at the work site was that the water was boiled in a big pot and we could have water from that pot. And at our sleeping quarter, there was no water for us to wash ourselves. I walked past a village before I uh, re reached uh, my work, my sleeping quarter, and uh, in the midway there was a well, and I could uh, clean myself with the water from that well. I could recall that at uh, the sleeping quarter there was an improvised Je me toilet, uh, but at our work site there was a big uh, Container, we could uh, relieve ourselves by using that uh, big container, and I was afraid to fall into that container, so I went into the forest to relieve myself. When I arrived at the work site, I received a black clothing. I had my previous uh, clothing with me. But uh, they were not clean, and Un they did not look nice. Je me que mes étaient sales. And uh, I would use the fruit of the plants to clean my teeth. 
we were living like in a hell. So we had nothing to clean. I mean the soap or other materials. The clothes were tattered, and I was allowed to repair my clothes. There were no threats for us to sue our tattered clothes. Pour recoudre nos vêtements. And uh, I uh, would use the fiber from the sack to use other straps so that I could uh, sew my uh, tattered clothes. Pour essayer de During that time, the people that were classified into base people and uh, new people, and people were also, also classified into classified into uh, petty bourgeoisie and another class. Petite bourgeoisie, une autre classe. Les gens étaient divisés entre ces classes. Je vous remercie. Ma dernière question. Dans quelles circonstances êtes-vous parti? Du barrage du 1er janvier, est-ce que vous êtes parti seul ou est-ce que vous êtes parti avec votre groupe, avec des gens de votre village Est-ce que vous pouvez rapidement nous expliquer les circonstances de votre départ I left that uh, work site with my villagers. J'ai quitté le chantier aux côtés des autres villageois. And I could recall that upon our return, they cooked rice for us and we were given a rice and the dry fish, a piece of dry fish to eat along the way. I uh, feel uh, very petty on the, my uh, parents at home, so I kept, I kept the, the rice and uh, the dry fish for my parents. parents. And I was asked by my uh, parents why I did not eat uh, that kind of uh, rice and dried fish. I told them that uh, I had enough already at the work site. I was uh, very patient uh, during that time because I knew that uh, I was uh, endured hard work. After I arrived home, I went to live at my Lorsque je suis rentré chez place. moi, j'ai eu, suis allé vivre dans mon lieu d'origine. Je vous remercie, Madame les Parties Civiles. J'en ai terminé, Monsieur le Président. Et je précise à la Chambre que Madame Seng Sovida a préparé une déclaration sur les souffrances qu'elle lira en fin d'audience et qui est assez longue, je crois. Donc je pense qu'il faudrait prévoir environ 10 minutes, je le dis, pour que vous puissiez organiser l'audience en conséquence, pour qu'elle puisse poser les questions qu'elle vous a transmises, Monsieur le Président, et lire le document qu'elle a préparé. Je vous remercie. Thank you. And now the floor is given to the co-prosecutors so that they can put questions to the civil party. You may not proceed. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President, Your Honours, everyone in and around the courtroom. Good morning, Madam Civil Party. I am the, in, the National Deputy Co-prosecutor. I have a few short questions for you today. And uh, because of the time, I would like to ask you to give uh, as briefly as brief response as possible. I would like to know about your parents. What did they do before the, the 17th April 1975? Answer. My mother was a homemaker. My father was Ma then the Khmer Isra, and after that he worked as a soldier with uh, Chan Reng Sei at Kampung Spu uh, Barak. 
dans euh, à Kampung Spö, question what was his position précédent. what was his rank while working as a soldier question et quel était son rang en tant que soldat answer from 1970 from 1970 he was the working as a conta à partir de 1970 il a été conta question where did question. he work où travaillait-il answer he was Réponse. working at uh, chubamon barrack il travaillait dans la caserne de chubamon Question. When did he stop working? Question. Quand a-t-il arrêté de travailler? Answer. He Réponse. was in that position until the fall, the fall of ce poste Phnom Penh. La chute de Phnom Penh. Before that, the liberation seven day, seven day before the liberation, he was in a Sept helicopter to Phnom Penh. My house Phnom was Penh located. En in Kampong Spu province. Ma maison se trouvait dans la province and, uh, de Kampong Spu. And my father was uh, working as a Mon soldier at uh, a barrack in Kampong Spu. He held a Kampung rank uh, before 1975, but he did not want il anyone to know about his rank and position. But everyone uh, could know his position and his Personne rank. Savoir quelle était sa position, quel était son what rang, did he do to his biography? Question. Qu'a-t-il écrit dans sa biographie? Answer. He always concealed Réponse. his biography. Il a toujours caché sa biographie. But my mother believed that Sihanou uh, was uh, the Mais initiator and also uh, was the one who created the uh, Khmer Rouge regime. Sihanou My mother wanted to, she was waiting and wanted to tell ma everyone later that uh, my uh, father was a former soldier. My, as for my father, he told my mother to burn uh, everything, and my mother could uh, keep a photo, a portrait of uh, my father's photo. Co-prosecutor, I would like to move on. Uh, you stated before the chamber, and you answered question of uh, call it lawyer that devant la chambre, vous avez you arrived at Barai Chuan Dai before you reach uh, the 1st January dam site. So where did you stay? Au du 1er janvier. Savoir où vous avez Answer. I uh, oh, did not stay in Réponse. that pagoda. My uh, sleeping quarter was uh, hundreds away from that pagoda. I uh, did not recall the village where I stayed at that time, but it was near or in Kampong Tmo. Question. Did you stay Question. in a place near Barai Chondai, and how far was it from Barai Chondai? Answer. I could not give you the right réponse. estimate. Je ne peux pas vous when I was exact. bathing myself with the uh, water from the well, I was told by uh, the avec du my senior that uh, please do not go to that Pagoda. So perhaps the pa pagoda was quite close to the work site, and uh, we were warned not, not to walk around that kind of pagoda. Perhaps some uh, would pagode. see activities taking place at that site. Some people activités. would uh, tremble after returning from that work site. I was warned and told by my senior colleagues that uh, please do not approach that pagoda. Dit de ne pas Question. Did they tell you why you 
Should not go through that Abarai Chandaik pagoda. Pourquoi vous ne deviez pas vous rendre à la pagode de Bahai Chandaik? They answer. They told me that Réponse. they saw a group of five or ten people Ils dit qu'ils vu un groupe were de asked cinq to split woods, and some people Ils said that uh, du bois. breasts of women were cut off from their body and. Ils ont dit was que hanged in that pagoda. Vu, I was told by uh, my senior colleague, and I was warned that uh, please uh, try not to worry or try not to get more information about that uh, pagoda. Et ces gens m'ont dit de ne pas m'occuper de la pagoda. Thank you. While you were working at that first January work site. Lorsque vous travaillez sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier. What was the water condition? Uh, you stated already that uh, you were told to fetch the water. So where did you go and get vous that nous water? Vous avez dit que vous alliez chercher de l'eau. J'aimerais savoir où. Answer. Vous there was a hall in réponse. the work site where the water was boiled in a big pot and the boiled water would be put into a large container for us to drink. Some people had tubes, some others had uh, water container so they could uh, put and collect water by using that uh, tube and container. Sometimes, as I said, I was told to fetch the water for some workers to drink. Question, what was the water level? Was it hygiene enough for drinking purpose? And was it boiled for everyone's consumption? Answer. It was boiled for workers at the work site. However, I did not know about the, the water itself. Usually in the, in the area, the water was fed from a creek, a stream, or a river, or from a pond. There was no tap water. And if one was too thirsty, uh, he or she Lorsque could uh, drink from a from a small uh, crack on the road or a small uh, pond. But uh, usually at uh, that small uh, shelter, they bought water for workers uh, to consume. Question: What about the sanitation? Was the uh, working site clean? Over there, many flies. Answer. At the kitchen, it Réponse. was not that clean. There was no dining table. Si we used hay or tree leaves or as a cover and we put our bowl or dish on top and of course the bowl and the condition was not that clean there was no soap to wash our dishes question during the time that you were working at the dam work site were you allowed to, to have a casual barrage, conversation or chit chat or bavarder, could you yourself take a rest when you were tired? Avec personnes, -vous du repos vous étiez fatigué? Answer no, we Réponse, could not uh, take a rest whenever we wanted. Nous Otherwise, everyone would uh, take a break when he or she needed. There was a set uh, time for uh, rest, and of course we could not chit-chat in uh, groups, and we could not have a free uh, conversation here or there. We uh, taught ourselves to plant a kapok tree, that is to keep quiet. Question. What about the work uh, quota? Who actually uh, 
measure the land plot and set a vertical quota for you to dig or to carry. And after uh, you complete your work at the end of the day, who actually measured how much work you had done for that day? Answer. Réponse. For Prey Prasap district, Pour le district de Prey Prasap, Singh was a man who uh, was in charge of that affair. He was the one who uh, measured the land for Prey Prasap district workers. Les pour and les that will be subdivided into various uh, communes within the district. Le travail était réparti entre plusieurs and he was the one who uh, took control of the land measurement qui for workers in uh, the uh, district. And above him, I did not know who, who was in charge. I myself uh, focused on carrying the dirt. Je me contentais de rester concentré sur le transport Question. de la terre. Was Singh an ordinary Question. worker or was he a, a group chief, a unit chief? Un what position did he hold? Answer. He was a villager from Prey Prasop district, but he was appointed as a unit chief in charge of our workers, of, our, of my group. Des and he was in charge of all the workers in Prey Prasop district. district Question. And who actually decided on the work that you did and that uh, it was considered Question complete so that you can move on to the next segment? Answer. Réponse. It was likely that Singh was in charge of that as well, and I did not know whether he made a joint decision with others or not. I only moved to the next segment when I was instructed to do so. De le faire. Question. While you worked Question. at the first January Diamond work site, Lorsque did you know or did you have any observation that some workers disappeared? I mean, disappeared and never returned. Avaient disparu pour ne plus jamais revenir. Answer. On the issue of the uh, disappearance, we were, we were told that uh, the, that particular uh, worker or those workers were required to work elsewhere, for instance, at back, back at the village. I heard other senior uh, workers there or workers who were older than me told me uh, about this or while they were discussing about the issue that people were transferred the work elsewhere, though I myself did not know the reason. Question. Did you observe that there were any charm people working at the work site? Answer, yes. There were Akhmai Islam or charm people who had been evacuated to live in my village, and they worked with us, with my people. There was no uh, discrimination against de them, and it seems that uh, some charm people, or a few, who were so assigned to work with us at the first January Dam work site. Question, what about uh, the food offered to the charm people? Was the same kind of food given to them, or they had to have their own uh, special food? Answer. Des it was difficult for the charm people as they réponse. did not eat the pork. So when there was a, a soup with pork, Donc, then they, they did not eat, but they, they could porc, ask for uh, soy sauce Mais ils de la to sauce eat soja their, uh, with their rice. Pour avec leur riz. But I I myself uh, was not sure uh, about uh, the arrangement, although Mais I never witnessed that any special, specially prepared food was made for a charm of people. Et je n'ai jamais entendu dire que des dispositions particulières étaient prises pour les charm.
And I move on to another topic regarding your elder sister. In your uh, document, that is the 22-2531, and in Khmer is 055-2159 in English. Zero one zero six three eight four three and in French zero one zero one zero nine five seven five nine you described about your other sister who was forced to marry and you said, and allow me to quote free translation, in early 77, my other sister, who was 16 years old, was forced to marry in a group of 21 couples. End of quote. Where were you when your other sister was forced to marry? Answer. I was at the village at the time. Question. Uh, which commune and district? Quelle commune et quel district? Answer. Arisakale village. Arisakale district. I was living with my parents and siblings. Question. Question. Can you tell the court the name of your elder sister? À la chambre le nom de votre sœur aînée. Answer. Réponse. Lou Sylvain is my Lou elder Sylvain sister's Jane name. Le nom de ma sœur aînée. Question. Question. You said that she was forced to marry. Can you describe the condition of the marriage, how it was arranged? Answer. Réponse. Uh, there was a meeting at night time. I also attended the meeting. They told us that Ankar from the above set an instruction for people to get uh, married. And we were wondering how come those people already had their name on the list. So those who, whose names appear on the list were uh, required to stay behind, and then they made an announcement. But I myself, I, I didn't go. I wanted to see what happened. And then they announced that uh, this woman would marry this man. And I was pretty young, so I ran uh, to tell my mother about this. And next morning, I didn't know what happened. And maybe my mother went to tell them that uh, my other sister was too young and she didn't want her to, to get married. And it was likely that she was told not uh, to disobey the instruction. And as I said, that the historical will was in motion, and if you interfere it with your leg or your arm, it would be crashed. And for that reason, nobody refused uh, the uh, instruction. I was not allowed to attend the Moi, ceremony itself, but I asked my other sister réunion, that my sister's name was announced to marry a man by the name of Gum Chad, and who was a, a former intellectual or a pilot from Phnom Penh, although I am uh, unclear on his background. Then the names of the 21 couples were announced and they got married and they were given a set of a mosquito net and a blanket. Question, did your other sister say whether she consented to the proposed marriage? Answer. She told me that she would not uh, marry that man. Elle dit pas cet homme. Uh, she didn't love him. Actually, Elle the man was uh, just uh, our neighbor. Cet homme, à vrai dire, était notre voisin. And she didn't want to marry him, Elle ne pas but uh, she was forced to, and she could Mais not elle refuse. Elle ne pas 
question. question. And what happened later on to your other sister? Par la suite? Qu -il arrivé à votre soeur aînée? Answer. Réponse. After she got married, I recall that it was around Après son mariage, uh, February. Je me que aux Although I, I am unclear, as si that was the time that I left for the first senior in side. My other sister was deprived of food, and she was about one month pregnant. Or elle était and I heard my mother said that they didn't go along well with her husband and that they stopped or consummated their marriage, although they were sleeping together. And Maybe because they monitored uh, their activity at night, then leurs they decided uh, to, to consummate the, the marriage. And Et pour cela ont décidé de consommer le mariage. I only heard from my mother regarding this, that uh, later on she was de deprived of food. And I Par asked suite, my mother ma why, de and ma mère that's what she told me, that because she initially dit. didn't uh, consummate the marriage. I returned uh, home at the time Je for three days moi. since I had Pendant a serious fever. Parce que je forte fièvre. Question in the same document that I quoted. You said Question that your other sister was uh, four months into her pregnancy and that she was uh, subsequently taken away and killed. Can you tell us the circumstances around this event? Answer. At the time, her name and her husband's name were announced that they would be transferred to live in another village. Il a été dit she was uh, pregnant at the time, uh, and uh, she was four months pregnant, and that announcement alors que cette was in a été July. Elle a été faite au mois de juillet. Since she was pregnant, my mother had a pity on her, and my father was not uh, in the village, as he was assigned to work uh, along the long Red Mountain uh, Range. My mother went to seek permission from them not to uh, transfer my other sister. And in fact, allow me to say that this. That was not the first uh, transfer that the people had been uh, transferred to live in another village. It was a continuous activity of transfer. And my mother wanted uh, them to, to hold on the transfer of my other sister until my uh, father returned. There was a big pond uh, behind the, the village. Un étang, un grand étang so they le went to get uh, my father, but they didn't go to, to get me from the work site. Mais ils ne sont pas venus me chercher moi sur le site de travail. Later on, my parents and my other sisters packed parents, their belongings and they were put onto a truck, a covered truck with other villagers and uh, they were told to go to another village and they were brought into an area called Salachan and they were started to remove their jewelry and clothes and other uh, valuable things there. I only heard this from my other in-law, and she was walking, crossing the area, and uh, she observed uh, what happened, that my other sister was the young one, was the last one uh, there, and my mother was hugging her. La serré très and fort she was uh, instructing my elder Elle sister to take off her clothes, and she vêtements. was probably wearing uh, two sets of uh, two layers of uh, clothing, and they forced vêtements. her to remove uh, the clothing. And then, 
After they remove the first layer, then she was put back into the truck and they drop them off at the Jury Ampel Pagoda. Then they detained them there and they killed the some women first. They were detained in a temple in the pagoda and uh, the execution lasted for three days and during the three days they played the music over the loudspeaker to mask the execution. And my other sis, my my uh, relative who lived in a nearby village heard about what happened, and she actually later on applied as a civil party in this case. Dans un village à proximité, a entendu ce qu'il s'est passé et s'est constitué parti civil. I myself did not know what happened at the time, and only later when I met my relative at Chiba on Peu, I was told about uh, uh, what happened. Ce membre de ma famille que j'ai appris ce qu'il s'était passé. I never learned of uh, what happened during the regime. Ce n'est pas pendant le régime. And pendant le régime, je n'ai jamais on, su ce qu'il s'était passé. During a meeting, they asked, uh, they asked uh, us réunion, to raise our hand if we had our uh, relatives si or family members who had been evacuated to another village. Vers un autre village. And I did not raise my je hand. And later on, when I arrived Ensuite, at the work site called Rolum Pneu, co-prosecutor uh, co interrupts. Due to the uh, time constraint, I'd like to hand the floor to my international uh, colleague. Thank you, Mr. President. President. Thank you. And the international co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Thank you. Madam Witness, I want you to just complete what you were talking about. You mentioned the death of your older sister. Did any other members of your family, were any other members of your family with her, and what happened to them? There, was my, there were my mother, my father, my younger siblings, all of my family members uh, died at the time, and only I survived because I worked far away, so they didn't have a chance to go and get me back to the village for the evacuation. I had a great pity for my older parents. And actually, when I decided to return to the website, I did not fully recover from my fever, but I, I wanted to go there in order to work hard to show them that I worked hard so they didn't mistreat my family. But unfortunately, they did, and they killed all my family members. Thank you. And you just tell me when you're ready to continue. If, if you need more time, that's fine. I can uh, continue. Um, Madam Civil Party, the first witness to discuss the first January dam was a village chief under the Khmer Rouge, and he supervised workers at the dam. He told us that new people and base people were treated the same. Was that your experience? Can you comment on that? We worked in under the same conditions, but the new people didn't have any right. We were considered as their enemies. 
and only the best people who uh, had the position to control us. And the best people amongst themselves, uh, the, the lower uh, part of the lower class, the best people even treated us worse than the uh, other part of the best uh, people. I didn't know why they seemed to consider us as their enemies. Whatever we did uh, was wrong. Thank you. Just, I want to clarify something about your father. Um, I didn't understand what rank. Do you know if he had a particular rank? Was he a soldier or an officer? He was a soldier. Thank you. So thank you very much for coming and telling us about this experience. I want to concentrate now on the three months that you spent at the 1st of January Dam. And I'd like you to explain to us what life was like for you and those that you were with. I'd like to discuss the rights that you had. Did you have the right to go where you wanted when you returned at night from working to the village, to your sleeping quarters? Could you go anywhere you wanted? Did you have freedom of movement? We didn't have any freedom of movement during the three-month period I worked there. I didn't. I was not permitted to visit home, and that applies to all workers from Rusekaeva village. Only upon the completion of the three-month period were we allowed to return to the village. Were you allowed to practice religion in these difficult circumstances? Could you do ceremonies to Buddha? And if you know, were the Cham people allowed to practice their religion? No. no. There was no pagoda, and we were not allowed to practice our religion. Although maybe, 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 be rather some workers did it secretly, but it was not publicly allowed. Did you have freedom of speech? Could you say to your friend, "We're really working too hard"? Could you say at a meeting, that "They should"? You should reduce the hours that we have to work. No, we could not challenge the uh, working condition. However, we could uh, speak about the working condition only through our closer colleagues who worked uh, nearby. Did people have a right to be... Well, let me start this question over. In your unit, was your unit all women? Your work unit at the 1st January Dam? There were uh, a mixed. There was a mixture of men and women in my uh, unit, and there were also some jam workers. Were families allowed to be together? Did husbands and wives spend time together? Did women have their children with them? Ensemble, est-ce que les femmes avaient leurs enfants avec elles? At the work site, we were all single and married. That is, uh, those from my village. Nous étions seuls et célibataires, en ce qui concerne en tout cas les gens de mon village. Did you feel at that time 
that you had a choice about continuing to work or not. You indicated you agreed to go there. Did you feel once you got to the dam that you could leave if you wanted to and stop working? We didn't have that right. Once we decided uh, to go, we had to be there until the uh, completion of the work. You said that you came from Prek Prasap district. Do you know what sector that was under the Khmer Rouge regime? It was in the east zone. I uh, do not know which sector it was in. Can you describe what happened when you were first had a meeting and you said you agreed to go to the dam? What was said to you at that time? Are you referring to the meeting which was held for the organization of the workforce to go to the first January Dammer work site? If that's what you meant, we were told that uh, they organized uh, the, the, the forces throughout the country for people to go there, and it also applies to our paper shop district. Some of us would be requested to go to the first January Dam work site, while others would go to various other work sites within Kampong Cham or to Swai Deep. And I myself wanted to go to build them because I heard that uh, at all combat the working and living condition there are worse and worse. As we were uh, told that people, were workers at the first century dam worksite had a better food than those who worked at all combat. And if we didn't uh, decide to go, we would be selected to go anyway. Thank you. So did anyone re refuse to go? No, no one dared to refuse. If the person was uh, unwell, the person uh, would allow to stay behind until he or she recovered, then he or she would be sent to uh, another work site. But nobody dared uh, to refuse. You said that you heard that the food situation was better at the dam than other work sites. Did you have enough to eat when you were working those three months at the first January dam? No, the food was insufficient. We were hungry, but the food was not enough, and the soup was mainly uh, watery. There was no, uh, there was rarely any meat in uh, the soup, and the condition was even worse at other work sites, as the gruel was uh, purely uh, watery. So that there's not confusion, in an earlier answer, you were asked about the food and how it changed. And you talked about eating pumpkin and getting sticky rice every 10 days. Where was that, that you were able to eat pumpkin and get sticky rice every 10 days? It was at the work site. Every uh, tenth day, they made they prepared a dessert, and a little bit of it was given to each worker. And in fact, the dessert was made from our village, and then the 
delivered to fait the work site and distributed et it to us. I'm, I'm out of time. Thank you for the questions. I have one very question. brief question. You indicated that you were tall for your age when you were 11 or 12 years old. How tall are you now? I am. I was about uh, 1.2 or uh, 1.3 uh, meters high at the time that the Phnom Penh fell. And I was about 1.2 or 1.3 meters high at the time that the Phnom Penh fell. Other people, including my other siblings, said that I was lucky that I was allowed uh, to go Les and work at the work site because if I were to stay with my family, then I would be taken away si along with my family si members and executed. However, family, when I was exécuté. young, I was uh, quite active and jeune, I enjoyed uh, working. Et jeune, très at the active, time, je, I je think I was about uh, 30 something kilograms only. My time is over. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Je n'ai plus le temps de poser d'autres questions. Thank Je vous remercie, you. Monsieur le Président. Merci, Madame la témo le témoin. President, thank you. Le Président, merci. It is now an appropriate time for our lunch break. We take a break Nous now and resume at 1.30. Court officer, please assist the civil party at the waiting room for the civil parties and witnesses during the lunch break and invite her as well as the TPRO staff back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are expected to take Kirsten Prawn back, back to the waiting room downstairs and have him returned to participate in the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.